Okay, in this lesson we are going to be talking about Google BigQuery. BigQuery is basically data warehouse that enables scalable analysis. This means that it is basically place when you can store your data, you can also query the data and later use it in your analysis. So basically what we will do, we will first create new project, import our data and later in this course I'm going to use the data in Google Looker Studio to create our reports. How to access Google BigQuery? Uh, basically I'm going to provide link in the description and when you click on that link and you will have Google BigQuery documentation, you will have some information about Google BigQuery sandbox and if you click on this button you will be able to go to BigQuery and create your own project. So let's start working. As you can see I already have some project created but for this purpose I'm going to create a new one. To do that I'm going to click on this option here. And, as you can see, this is my project that I already have. To create a new one, I'm going to click on this new project button. And I will have this window in front of me. So let's choose name for our project. Let's call it Let's call it like this. I'm going to click on this create button. Okay, I'm going to need to remove those. and. It should be fine. Now let's click on create. And basically we are waiting for Google Looker Studio to create our project. As you can see we successfully created that project. So instead of this project that we already have, we are going to be using this one this time. If we click on that, we will be able to use that project. Now that we have our project created, next thing I would like to do is to import our data. To do that, I'm going to first click on this option here and I'm going to first create data set. So let's create data set ID, let's call it Google Looker Studio course. Let's try to change this. Uh, actually, yes, uh, I'm going to leave it as it is. Mm, for this option, leave this option multi-region, it, it's fine for us and I'm gonna click on this create data set. Okay, perfect. Now we are able to see that we have our data set created. In this data set we would be able to import our tables. So now let's do that, let's click on this option here and you will see option create table here. Now that we have this create table window here, we will have to provide some values in each of these fields. So instead of empty table let's use in this case upload option. As you can see you have Google Cloud Storage option, Drive and so on, Amazon S3 bucket but we, this time we will be uploading CSV file from our local machine so we will use this upload option. Next we need to provide our file. So how can we do that? We can click on this browse option and you will be able to select your file. In our case let's for example import this employee info and if I select that file I'm going to click on open and that file will be selected. As you can see Google BigQuery automatically recognizes this format and it's CSV so we're going to leave it as it is. Project is this one, data set is correct one also and now we need to provide table name. Let's call it employee info. Perfect. Let's leave this option native table and for schema I'm going to click auto detect. For partition I'm going to leave this as it is and I'm going to click on this create table option. This will allow us to create our table. Let's see what data we have in this table. To do that you can click on this query option and here you just need to provide what data you would like to see. I'm going to insert star, so select star. That means select everything from this table that we created. And I'm going to limit it to, let's say, 10 rows, for example. If I run this, I will be able to see our data. Only first 10 rows. You can also provide, for example, 100. 
and you will be able to see 100, first 100 rows in, in your data. That's perfect. Now we imported successfully our data and next step is to basically connect Google BigQuery and Google Sheets to Google Looker Studio and then to import that data that we have here in Google Looker Studio to start working basically with, with that tool.